Hello everybody and welcome to another CV Show Tunes tutorial. Now, a couple months ago we actually built this cool Subway Runner game um, that was absolutely awesome. Now, inside those tutorials, the one thing that I did not actually do was create a slide, which of course I received a quest, request for um, not too long ago. So, what we're going to do is we're going to actually apply a slide to our character and we're also going to allow our character to like run through objects and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get that done. So what I did here was created three individual objects off my original objects. If you've been following along inside my tutorials. Um, now if you haven't been following along then you can go back and go look at those videos real quick. And actually be able to pick up all this information. Otherwise you guys can just follow along right here. So, anyway, I created these little objects that are sitting right above everything else, and I'm simply going to drag them into my objects folder, making prefabs out of them. If we don't want all three of them like that. So, yeah, we're going to simply drag every single one of these into my prefab folder, and that will allow us to have our top, um, I guess, obstacles. Alright, so we're also going to select our spawner and we're just going to add these at random. Um, let's see, left, left, top. Top, right, right, Okay, I have absolutely no clue which one's which, actually. Oh, that's that's the reason why. Train center. I want that right there. Okay, let's try that for now. And let's go ahead and put that right about there, I think. Okay. So, now since we got that done, we're going to basically start working on our character. Now... I already added these functions inside here. You just need to be able to plug them in and it'll be all good. So for starters, you will need to have an animation for your character, which of course I have this cool looking sliding animation right here. And I made sure that I did not select loop time because we do not want this to loop. Okay, now you're gonna go over to your animator controller. Now mine was under time move. And I added this cool trigger called on slide. Now, what this does is that it works just like the on jump. Uh, so whenever you're running and you want to jump, you just activate the trigger, has exit times off, and you jump. Then, of course, after you jump, it's going to have exit time and then heads back to running. So we did the same function with on slide. So whenever we're sliding, we basically have the condition of on slide has exit times off and then heading back has exit times on then we have our jump function and with this this is a little bit different so when we connect jump and running slide together we are going to make sure that has exit times off and the reason for this is because they're two different opposites of I guess a coin you could say I mean, you're looking at one inside the air and one you're on the ground. So when you're on the ground, you're going to be sliding. When you're in the air, you're going to be jumping. So if you're ending your jump function, right, and then you land, well, you want to be able to immediately slide if you slide down. You don't want to just be having it go through running function again. So we basically took off Hazix to time and then put on on slide and then did the same thing to jump as well. Super easy, simple enough. Alright, so now we're going to go to our script. Now this script was actually left inside one of the comments inside one of my videos. So if you guys are curious about getting that, then you just head over to one of my videos and grab that. Alright, so I added this little function called testing for PC. And it's going to say if input dot get key down key code dot space and, and its ground is equal true. And so what this is, it's a testing script. Uh, so whenever you swipe down, then this will activate. 
or whenever I press spacebar technically because I'm testing on the PC. And then we added this function right here called slide, uh, parentheses, colon. So that's calling our function. Now you are going to need to add this script over here to actually have it apply on your Android. So if you look at this, it says else if swipe left is equal equal to false and then y moved is greater than zero and then is grounded is equal equal true. I know, super complex, super confusing. But what this is simply saying is if you swipe down and you're on the ground, then you're going to activate this slide function. So same thing as saying we press the space bar. We're going to say if we swipe down, it's going to slide. And we're going to apply each one of these to lane one, two, and three. And the reason for this is because if we're inside our left lane and we swipe down, we want to be able to slide. If we're in our right lane, we want to swipe down, we want to slide. Same thing with our middle. Okay, so now we need to make a new public void called slide. And this is where our function is being called. So if you look at this, we just set up our anim.set trigger on slide. We don't need to add any sort of force or whatnot because we are already on the ground. We just want to add the slide. So let's go ahead and press play real fast. And as I said before, I'm using the space bar to slide. Now if I press the space bar, as you can see, I slide. All right. So let's go ahead and add in a jump function as well or a jump test switch as well, just so we can actually test this on our PC. So we're gonna press Control C, or actually we'll need to grab our jump function right here, Control C. And let's go up here, Control V. Then we're going to copy this function right here. Now keep in mind this is only for testing on your PC if you're wanting to test on your Android and all, then you can also just simply do it on there already since it's already set up. So I'm going to change the keys to W and S, press Control S, and now we're going to test this. Okay. Is ground is equal to true, jump, slide, okay. So here we go, once it uh, pops up, we'll be ready to go, I think. <laughs> okay, there we go, so, all right, now we're going to, whoops, I am horrible at this, people. All right, so we're going to uh, slide down. Whoops, I am going way too slow for this, people. Okay, so let's take a look at this. It's supposed to be, oh, that's the reason why. I was pressing S and I was like, well, nurse, it's not doing all right. Put those two around, there we go. Okay, so we're going to do this real fast. And let's hope that we get our tops first because that's what we're really trying to test out here. All right. There we go. All right, well, the slide works, which is great news. Um, but we are jumping like really, really, really slow. Eh, still not bad, I guess. All right, I know I'm being a little bit pessimistic here. Uh, let's see. It's probably because I'm just not using all my testing functions here because we're not dropping in doing whatever as well. So let's go ahead and just do that as well. Control V and we're going to just copy this. So I'm just adding in all my testing functions right now. It's just takes a couple minutes or so. Okay, let's press play again, and we shall do this. Now, I could actually speed up the game time and all to actually work faster, but 
for now, this is all good. All right. Hey, we got the middle. Perfect. No, no, no. I am bad. <laughs> I created the game and I'm still like, oh, okay. So as you can see, our hop and down function works just fine. And we slide. All right, that is actually terrific, by the way. Even though I don't see our tops appearing, which is a little bit concerning for me. All right, so what we're going to have to do, it looks like, maybe the tops are way too low. So let's go over to our um, objects and also select our spawner as well. We want to see where these objects are. So let me see, center top, center top, right top, left top, center top, left top, and we want right top. Oh, that's the problem, people. That's the problem. Go over to our spawning random. Now, we set it to, to the range of zero and seven. Um, that's not what this is because we have a range of zero to 11. So we're going to set range to 0 through 11 and then we're going to set this range um, equals 0 equals 1 and we're just going to actually copy this and we're going to say control C control V and instead of choosing just this right here we're going to change this to um, let's see if random is equals one, equals zero. So we're actually going to change this to like two. No, let's change it to three. Random equals zero. Good. And then we're going to say two, one. And then we're also going to put control V, zero. And what we'll do is say zero, one, two, and then three random is equal to zero then it will go there so basically it will loop so we want this to be zero through so we have one two three four divided by twelve so three every single time so four and then we want seven then we want ten then we want 12 or 13 actually so what you're doing is you're going to set one number higher than what you have so we're actually needing 12 because we got that and now we're going to go through 0 3 6 and 9 there we go all right so now since we actually got that fixed that was going to be a big issue right there all right, so we're going to run this now, and it should actually fix it. Okay, yep, there it goes. It fixed it. There we go. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, putting up with all that long editing and all. But if you guys like this video, please like it, subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time.